on Sailor Moon GT. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't resist doing that impersonation. Anyway, welcome back to What If Sailor Moon Was in Dragon Ball GT. Hey, you guys wanted the GT edition and you're going to keep getting it. And, um, well, continuing on right where we left off, which is when we got the, um, the merger of, um, Jet on, of, um, Meta Rildo, merging with the other rest of the Sigma Force, and we've got Goku, along with Sailor Uranus and Neptune, battling the General. And, um, well... In the meantime, though, Pan has um, been trying to um, sneak to the tower in order to um, rescue Trunks, who, as we know, was captured by um, General Rildo. And uh, oh, did I say Pan? I mean Ho Homaru. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I just recorded the... Um, the, um, What If Gine Survived, um, Dragon Ball GT Edition Part 1, so I kind of had Pan in my head there. So, Homaru and Usagi, I'm sorry, have tried to, um, race into the, um, tall tower in, in an attempt to rescue Trunks. And, um, well, every time they keep finding Giru, they keep getting, um, sucked out of the tower, much like Pan did in the original, and just like in the original, Giru returns the um, Dragon Balls in to them, and um, well, Homaru and Usagi fly back to um, to um, Goku and Goku's location. Ur Uranus and Neptune are still in the battle with Rildo, who has since um, lost all his, um, Meta Rildo fusion parts, and, um, his source of power has been revealed that he is, um, basically part of all the metal on the planet. So, essentially, I guess he is the planet, I suppose, which explains General Rildo's crazy regenerative capabilities, and, well, this is when, thanks to, um, Homoru and Usagi calling out, this essentially forced Goku, Uranus, and Neptune drop down their guard, and this is where Rildo manages to capture them as well. And of course, this means Homaru and Usagi also get captured. Damn, Gira's gonna have a lot of work um, de um, demetalizing them. And um, well, as they are, of course, transported to um, Mew. And Dr. Mew is getting ready to um, carve up Goku and hopefully turn him into a machine mutant, I believe was the plan. Anyways, because yeah, Dr. Mew wanted that sweet Super Saiyan power. And well, lucky for him, it turns out the whole Giru becoming a traitor turns out to be part of an elaborate tra trap by um, him and Trunks. As um, Giru transported in and um, immediately put a stop to Dr. Mew's plans and begun reverting everyone back to their normal states. And um, well, this is where um, Trunks arrives and explains that everything had happened the way that Trunks and Giru had actually planned, which has brought them face to face the main antagonist threatening the universe, and of course, exposes Dr. Mew's darkest secret that he was building, that he was creating this um, super machine mutant known as Baby. And well, just like in the original with Trunks um, already disabling it, thinking that the heroes have won, they've already stopped this threat to the universe, only to find that no, Baby wakes up from his slumber, and even though he appears really weak, and that the tra and that that Goku, Usagi, and the others, and Trunks, 
were able to supposedly destroy Baby quite easily, and Dr. Mew uses the um, commotion in order to escape. As it turns out, they are um, ba Baby hitched a ride with his supposed creator and essentially destroyed him when separating from him and revealed that it was actually he, it was actually Baby who created Dr. Mew and essentially all the other machine mutants and that basically every single one of them had outlived their purpose. And, um, well, with, um, a Dragon Ball secured in Dr. Mew's head, this gives Baby an idea to set up a trap for the others. And, um, well, meanwhile, the, um, our heroes have finally gotten to their ship and they're ready to leave Planet M2 behind. However, they are being stopped by the regenerated General Rildo, who hasn't quite given up just yet, and well... And well, essentially... Um... Goku, Homaru, and Trunks are about to fire a full-powered key blast in order to finish off General Rildo, but... Usagi essentially states there is no need as she transforms into Eternal Sailor Moon and using her pa the power of the Silver Crystal she's basically reverted all the machine mutants into good guys including Rildo who, who suddenly lets go, go of the ship and they're able to blast off into space all the negative and evil programming in General Rildo was overwritten by the power of Eternal Sailor Moon Silver Crystal. And, um, I just thought that Rildo deser deserved a bit better, and Sailor Moon gave us the opportunity to give that to him. He could make M2 a source of good, a, te a technological advance that could help other civilizations that aren't as advanced. And, well... As they're flying off into space, this is where they run into this um, ship that seems to have taken a lot of damage, particularly from the inside of the ship, and it's slowly drifting off into the sun. However, turns out there is a Dragon Ball in that ship. While it does seem a bit suspicious that there just happens to be a Dragon Ball in that ship and it's heading towards the sun, needless to say, our heroes spring into action and they are to um, grab the Dragon Ball and needless to say they're able to find that relatively quickly and this is where um, Usagi essentially find the um, unconscious child and more or less rescue him much like Pan Trunks and Goku do in the original timeline however Uranus and Neptune are thinking the whole thing was suspicious and very convenient. They've never been able to attract a Dragon Ball this easily. Not once in the history of finding Dragon Balls has it been that easy. And um, this mysterious boy, you know, having this mysterious boy they don't know, near, near Neo Queen Serenity, Usagi Sakino, Sailor Eternal, and of course... Her grandchild, Pr Princess Homaru, the daughter of Gohan and Chibiusa. Yeah, let's just say, as the kid was getting medical attention, they'll keep an eye on him very closely. At least until they get to the, um... At least they, until they get to the planet where they've got a medical team waiting for their arrival, thanks to Giro getting a distress call out. They're able to get provide the boy medical attention, but as it turns out, the um, child turns out to be infected by Baby himself, who has um, pretty much unleashed a surprise attack. And well, 
he is later able to take possession of one of the doctors and um, well he decides to um, baby decides just like in the original to play to Trunks' interest in um, advanced technology because after all Capsule Corporation is about inventing things so this caught Trunks' curiosity however the Dragon Team were more than ready for ready for this because well you know every time Baby jumps into another body and whenever he uses energy they um sense that Baby didn't know about that current ability from Saiyans and Earthlings you know, even the Sailor Guardians could sense him and so just like in the original they tried to um make themselves appear vulnerable in order to expose Baby this time with um tr with um Trunks being fascinated by their technology it definitely works and Baby is surrounded not only by Goku and Trunks and the Quarter Saiyan Silver Millennia Homaru Sailor Moon Uranus and Neptune are also there ready for battle and because of the extra numbers Baby isn't able to um, take over Trunks' body in this reality. They are all just that little bit too careful and it pretty much um, forced Baby into um, having no choice but to escape you know blinding everyone with a flash from his eyes. Very similar to a solar flare ability and he has now run off and has basically boarded a ship and is basically used the opportunity to take over and kill everybody taking their energy making himself stronger at least that's how I've interpreted it in the anime tell me tell me I'm wrong in the comments if I'm wrong about that and essentially just like in the original baby finds his way to earth and um, takes over a human there and um, essentially finds himself getting into a fight with Goten who was um, happened to be out on a date during this time and um, well much like in the original Goten's able to defeat the um, baby possessed humans no problem but essentially ends up infected by baby himself serving as baby's main body at least for a time until he decides to provoke his brother Gohan and he also gets um, jumped into Gohan's body just like in the original and I think that's where we're gonna leave things for right now so what did you guys think? Did you enjoy this part of the story? how are things gonna differ once um, our heroes in space return home? assumingly it's gonna be another planet infested um, trap they're walking into but we'll just have to wait and see as always don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below and i'll see you guys again next time catch you later